I have everything just about um, completed on the giant hex. The um, the power distribution boards in. I have the DX7S set up. I have the ESCs programmed. Um, the only other thing that I have to do now is uh, transfer the transfer the Hoverfly Pro board off the DJI and uh, install it on the giant hex. Now I never plan to keep it permanently on the the DJI frame. Um, eventually I'll I'll set that one up later on, but. Anyway, I'm going to take it outside right now, the DJI, and give it a quick test flight. It is set up the way I want it with um, the Hax X configuration. And um, there's no wind outside. It's about 21 degrees. And we're just going to do a quick flight on it uh, just to test it out, make sure everything's okay. At least it works and um, I just wanted to make sure I tested it before um, I put it on the the giant hex right here and uh, now my hoverfly um, version 2 blackboard has already been set up for the X hex configuration so I'm not going to go into um, programming this online or anything in this video it's got to be the easiest one uh, out of all the boards I have here this is the first one I ever got that just I hooked everything up, did what it says in the uh, manual, and took it out and, and flew it just like how they did in the, on the Hoverfly uh, setup video that uh, Hoverfly has. Now, um, there's a little bit of a difference, I think, um, with this board and, and the older green board. And some of the stuff that I, I know about a little bit is that the older green board, it looks like when they program that one, they set up the motor configuration first before they download the firmware in. Now this one here is a little bit different. You're going to um, put the firmware in first on this uh, version 2 and then you're going to go into the rest of the program and set up the motor configuration. That's one thing I, I kind of got stumped with when I first got it. Um, this one here has a, uh, the noise filter built into the board. Um, I think the older version 1 green board you have to um, get the um, noise filter separated and buy that separate and then install that in your um, input power line but other than that um, this has got to be one of my favorite boards and uh, it's uh, it fly they fly really smooth if you have everything set up properly and you have um, um, the ESC's and your motors and your batteries and all that stuff all match up pretty well um, this is a great board to start with. Now when I mount the Hoverfly Pro on this new giant hex, I want to make sure I have the reference arrow on the Hoverfly Pro pointing at the front of the craft and you can see my reference arrow here on the frame. Now normally on the, the Hoverfly Pro you usually have just one battery that runs everything, but with this one here I don't really trust these 6S batteries to operate the Hoverfly Pro uh, with a, a battery elimination circuit. I'd rather just have a, a smaller battery. I have a three cell here and I'm going to just plug the um, power in for to, to operate the Hoverfly Pro separately and then my batteries that are going to supply power to the ESCs are going to be 6S batteries and they'll get plugged into the uh, main power distribution board and I have to do this kind of quickly. 
Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, and I'm also going to start the bind on the AR8000. Um, I did decide not to use the, the AR7000 because it looked like it had a little bit of glitching. Maybe because my um, servo leads for the ESCs are so long. They're uh, pretty long because the booms are pretty long on this thing. So I noticed it, it was stubborn a little bit and I know the AR8000 worked okay on the uh, the DJI frame so with the Hoverfly Pro on it. So that's what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to install my bind plug in the AR8000. I'm going to take my battery. I'm going to plug in, uh, I'm going to turn the Hoverfly Pro to on. And then I'm going to plug in my 6 cell battery. Now you can see the AR8000, uh, the bind port is flashing. I'm going to take my uh, DX7S, hold down on the bind button, power it up. Now it's binded to the board. Okay, now I'm going to coordinate the board with the ESCs and I'm going to take and turn on the DX7S. Make sure my switches are all forward. That powers up. Now I'm going to take my throttle and move it all the way to the top. And now I'm going to take my Hoverfly Pro on off switch with the three cell, turn on the board and quickly plug in the, the six cell. Two beeps, lower the throttle. That stabilizes the six cells and one long side. The whole thing is now coordinated together with the speeds of the high and low range. Okay, now I'm going to test and see if my uh, programming worked out and I want to make sure that the motors all spool up nice and evenly. Um, and that's uh, pretty much what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to turn on the Hoverfly Pro, connect my batteries. Now I'm going to arm the board. And now I'm going to throttle up, make sure they're all uh, firing up evenly. the Hoverfly Pro coordinated with the ESCs, I do have to do the um, motor direction rotation and set that up and the way I'm going to do that is if when I have to change a direction to, to what it calls for in the manual I have to take two of the three wires that come out of the motor going into the ESC and unplug two and reverse them to change the direction to whatever um, you want the direction to for your manual. So that's the now stuff I'm, I'm on the do uh, next. user manual page for the the Hoverfly Pro for the the prop rotation. So um, now I consider this first one um, number one, and that is uh, clockwise. Number two is counterclockwise. Number three is clockwise. Number four is counterclockwise. Number five is clockwise. Number six is counterclockwise. All right, now everything's all armed, and I'm gonna. This is number motor number one, and I'm gonna test this one right now, and we'll see how this one's going. Okay, that one's going the right direction. That's number one. It's going clockwise. Okay, we're gonna go to number two. Okay, that one's going counterclockwise. That one's right. Now, number three should be um, clockwise. Let's see how that one is. Okay, that one's going counterclockwise, so I got to switch that. Now, I'm going to take uh, two of these uh, wires and change them, and then we'll try that. Now, I just repositioned two of these wires, and now I'll just give it a try. And we want to make sure it's going clockwise now. Okay, that one's going clockwise. 
Okay, that one's right. Now we're going to go to number four. We'll try that one. Now number four should be counterclockwise, so we'll try this. Okay, that one's going, uh, that one's clockwise, so I gotta change that one too. Alright, now I changed the wires, we're gonna try it again. Okay, that one is counterclockwise. Now I'm on number five, I'm gonna try that one. That one's supposed to be clockwise. Okay, that's counterclockwise, so I've gotta switch this one too. Okay, now we'll try five again. Okay, that's that's clockwise. That one's right. Now we're on number six, last one. Number six is a counterclockwise. Okay, that one's right. Now my last thing that I'm going to test for today is I'm going to test the auto leveling feature that's on the Hoverfly Pro. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to power up my DX7S and then I'm going to arm the board, plug in the ESCs, and I have my gear switch right here. It's, uh, I'm going to start it out on the, the positive side of the gain, and then I'm going to throttle up the motors, and flick up the switch to the negative side, and watch for the green arming light on the Hoverfly Pro to change to blue, and then I'm going to tilt the craft once it's um, throttled up, and watch for the motors to um, try and level and, and balance itself. And this is, um, this is one thing you always want to make sure the props are off anytime you're throwing the hexcopter around. Okay, now I'm going to power up the DX7S and I'm going to turn on the Hoverfly Pro board and then plug in the 6S batteries. Now I'm going to arm it. Okay, it's armed. Now I'm going to throttle it up. Closing on the Giant Hex, um, this is pretty much how the, the battery support came out on the top. You can see I've got my four 6S batteries and I've got um, four three cells that will be hooked together in series to probably do our first main flight. Now I've got this, um, I cut this piece of plastic here, it's uh, battery support material and usually you see this material on when you see batteries at like an auto parts store on a rack that's the type of plastic that this is um, now I've got uh, my holes drilled in the front center and there's three holes here that are going to support the camera boom um, when the camera comes out the front because I can't have the camera gimbling system underneath this one it's too heavy if it takes a hard landing um, it'll probably destroy the camera and everything. And Now the plastic material that the batteries sit on will eventually have Velcro uh, strips uh, all over this, the top of this thing and the, the, the batteries themselves will have the, uh, the other piece of the Velcro. Um, it'll eventually have um, straps that go from side to side over the top on the front and the rear to strap down the batteries and hold them in place on the Velcro. Um, the power leads come up on each side of the, the top plate to connect up the front series of 
where the connectors are on the batteries to go down into the power distribution board at the front and then at the rear I have the same thing I've got two leads that come out and I can plug multiple now, batteries when I look down in. on the top cover plate that supports the batteries you can see I have the batteries kind of move backwards um, not in center with the craft because the camera when it sticks out the front is going to be uh, with the camera on this boom it's going to be a little bit more heavier and it needs some compensation uh, to shift the weight um, that's why I have the batteries back now I can reposition them around a little bit differently if I like now I've got the this is the 550 DJI frame that I have here and you can see how I have the the a, a back plate here that uh, where I can move the battery back to compensate for the camera out on the front um, but this isn't this one's a little bit different scale it's just smaller my camera boom on the 550 doesn't stick out that far the three cell battery is just going to be temporary to run and operate and power the hoverfly pro till I get a little bit of research time to to find a good voltage regulator so I can tie everything in on one battery system but for right now this is just a quick easy start uh, to get this thing to fly and do a little bit of testing on it I only have a little bit more work left to go on the, this hexcopter mainly just uh, tidy up the wiring inside the frame I've got to do a little bit of soldering work so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on the transfer of the Hoverfly Pro onto the Giant Hex Stay tuned in for the maiden flight. So till next time, thanks for watching.